the dark Cause once you let the light in You won't see the beautiful stars Shining down from afar No, I ain't afraid of the dark I don't mind the rain Bringing life back We can breathe again When dealing with the pain No, I don't mind the rain What you need to know And ooh Like a river flows Life will take you where you Where you need to go Getting old don't bother me Cause with eyes that's been through life It's so much easier to see Who I am and who I wanna be We are currently in Mabea and there's this bakery. It's a completely gluten-free bakery, so it's my heaven. And I've been so sad because I love celebrating fall and winter and I love Dunkin' Donuts, how they do like Halloween kind of like donuts, like you know, design them and they have little monsters and faces and ghosts. And in the Spanish supermarket as well, you can buy like all kind of like pumpkin foam cookies and all that. And I was kind of sad because I obviously couldn't eat those. But to our surprise, with the bakery, they just had all kind of like first of all it was decorated all kind of Halloween like and then there had those cupcakes and the reason we drove there was because of the red velvet cupcake like I'm not a cake person but sometimes I do crave something cakeish and if I crave a cake it's usually just red velvet like that's the only cake I really love this little box and let me show you because it's so cute then this one lost it's ice but it had like a little ice so it's like a little monster raspberry situation the pumpkin we've got this little one which is kind of vanilla coconut so i'm not going to try all of them now here but what i'm going to try is which is not halloween but it's like a banana nuffy or whatever you call it uh cake and i've been craving like i said once again i crave like a creamy cake so let's do a little taste test and then we're going to go to the beach we are gonna play some games. We've got like an exit game that we still haven't done and we've got it for a while. Oh, got it a while back. And then I'm gonna give you a rating later on for like the different cupcakes. This is really good. It tastes a lot more like banana than I thought. But if you ever are close to Esilizioso, I highly recommend, especially if you're trying to avoid gluten or you can eat gluten like me I'm just gonna give you a little rating afterwards one just did fall but yeah we're gonna go to the beach and I thought I'd just show you because it's so exciting and so pretty and a way to celebrate fall and Halloween even though I'm like very easily scared so the only way I can celebrate Halloween is kids Halloween movies and little cakes that look like ghosts you can be a bit the pill but it'll do you right and set you free well, I never will Like climbing up the steepest hill But truth can be a bit of pill Ew. That's the way it goes Life will teach you what you need to know And ooh, like the river flows Life will take you where you need to go it's time to go to yoga i think it's gonna be really amazing i do think it's like a sun roof kind of yoga class but i'm really kind of nervous i felt so much resistance today even though like in terms of like practically what it is it is like the dream come true i love a good yoga session like a sunset yoga session on a rooftop overlooking the ocean like why would I even ever feel any resistance towards that? But I just thought maybe it's relatable to share because I don't know what it is. I get such anxiety. I get like new trying new classes anxiety. I think it's just something that I have realized a lot 
of us do. I talked to my cousin about it because we wanted to try a road cycle and she never went because she didn't want to go by herself. And I feel like it's such a weird thing because why what we have anxiety to try a new class to go to work out or whatever i'm not the most comfortable in the gym and i'm working through that but like especially like a yoga environment is always so beautiful and relaxing even though it could be a challenging workout but like just the atmosphere is usually very lovely and warm and welcoming and here i am like ready to go now talking about it i feel like i'm like busy with the thought of how to get there, like what way I have to go, so it's fine. But like, I definitely was thinking about canceling a couple of times just because I had like nervousness to go. I don't know if that's like an Asian thing because I don't feel like I used to have that when I was like younger. But yeah, the gym anxiety, trying new class anxiety is real. And I thought to share that with you because I'm anyways going. I'm anyways going to take that class. I'm pretty sure it's going to be wonderful. I'm going to tell you afterwards. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a good workout. It's going to be very, very beautiful. Maybe this is a little bit of a reminder in the ass inspiration to go to the class that you've been wanting to try but are kind of avoiding to go to or like pushing out booking because there's a tad bit of nerves around it or you feel kind of uncomfortable going by yourself i'm gonna go now <laughs> instead of procrastinating and missing the appointment which will be crazy to do and i'll update you afterwards but yeah let's go do the classes try the new things <laughs> yoga and it was literally the best class ever it was a kind of like a really really cool yoga my elevators here and it was a full moon the sunrise a sunset the most beautiful gorgeous view i couldn't really film because i was like completely immersed in the session but yeah back at home and i'm gonna pick up mono because we're gonna go for a little car ride maybe get like a hot tea go to the ocean and just chat because he had a reiki session which was apparently amazing and i'm so excited to hear about it. and i don't know i'm just like this is just a confirmation to go for what you've been thinking about doing if it's a pottery class if it's a yoga session a workout class whatever it is to just go even if you feel like you don't have time if you feel like it's not worth the investment in terms of like oh i don't have money for it now think about what is going to give you the most benefit in terms of what you spend your money on and yeah, just highly recommend because that was absolutely, I have no words, this was so, so magical and I feel amazing. I just did my skincare and I'm gonna let that sit because I really realized that you need to let your skincare sit a little before you put any kind of CC cream, tinted SPF, SPF. And so I'm just gonna let that sit for a while because I wanna try the CC cream that everyone has been raving about. And I started using this gua sha. Gua sha in the past was like rose quartz and stuff and I felt like it didn't really make a difference. But yesterday I used it and I literally went to Mount and said, do you see a difference in my face? And he was like, one side of your face looks like snatch, like looks so much slimmer. This might be the new holy grail in my routine. But yeah, I'm super excited because today is goal planning, soft winter art kind of vibe. That's what we're gonna do. But first I wanna finish my face. Do and we have more than two months left of this year and I do want to really go heavy on the planning and taking action and integrating habits now before it goes into January. I don't know actually how much to use. I feel like I've used too much. It's white and then it turns kind of like a... I mean, the color is called door, so I don't know. Oh, shit, I feel like I use way too much. I don't know, actually, maybe it's fine. Because I feel like right now my skin is not like as even in skin tone than it usually is. So I definitely want something that is a bit more covered. Oh, God, I think I get the hype. It feels actually really nice on the skin. So I'm just going to do like my... Three minute makeup situation. 
not that shiny, but then you push and it melts on your lips. And I feel like this one is really pretty. And then I'm going to use the refined blush in the color Orchid. And I'm usually someone that smudges everything on my face and I always see like those beautiful girls doing like this. And I did this in Malaga and then I was like, oh, okay, I get why. It's looking actually a lot prettier to just apply it with your brush. And you don't use that much product as well. I like to put always something on my eyes and a little bit on the forehead and then i'm gonna use the refi brow gel which i've actually come to really enjoy using beautiful outside i just make myself a coffee for the planning session and i'm just gonna light some candles because even though it's still kind of bright outside i just want to have the cozy vibe i have a bit of kind of autumn decoration i'm more a minimalist at heart but i do love a few pieces that just romanticize and celebrate season so i'm gonna light the candles and then it's time to set the tone for the rest of the year to really leverage the time we've got instead of crunching it all out in january i'm so excited to share with you my method that honestly has been such a game changer for me if you're someone that is procrastinating self-sabotaging that usually someone that goes all in and then overwhelms herself and that kind of goes back to zero or old habits then this is definitely something you want to grab your journal for and write down and do together with me. Time to plan. I've got my notebooks, my coffee, my phone, my laptop, everything we need. This is my planner. I put the link in the bio if you want to purchase this. It gives me a more clear understanding of what do I actually want to achieve in the next couple months. What is actually the vision that I have? So what are my top goals in the selected area? What, who's that version of myself that is already achieving those goals or has achieved those goals? Like my planning method is called the 333 method, which is something I've created. 333 is an angel number that a lot of us are very familiar with and is seen as the number of growth, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially. It also represents creativity, good luck, positivity. So I feel like it's such a great number to bring that energy into our planning. You have three goals that you are seeing in that vision unfolding. And so that is the foundation for our planning. For each of these, we're going to decide on three actions slash daily habits that we can take to realize that goal. We have three months. So the first month from each area, we take the first habit that we have the least resistance to that we just determined and put it into action, make it a reality, make it our habit. And we, when the second month comes, we will add 
the second habit. So we have already four months done the first and it's very achievable because for each area, it's just one small thing that you can do. And it's not a whole workout routine that's like 90 minutes long, but it's a smaller change, a smaller habit that we can take with the least amount of resistance with all of the habits that we have come up. And then you guess that the third month we add the third habit and by the end of the third month we have integrated three actions, three habits that really are connected to our vision, our goals. But that way you're not doing everything at once but also you're taking continuously steps forward and then you're building on what you've already achieved and what, is, what has become part of your everyday. It feels easy, feels integrated and then you keep adding to it. So now why do we start now in October because the first month is going to be November, the second month is going to be December and by January we already have such a strong foundation of reaching our goals so that by end of January we can actually already reach our goal or a big chunk of it and that's what I'm going to do now and that's the method that has worked for me so much because instead of trying to do everything at once I focus on just one simple thing but for three areas or three goals so there is variety there's creativity there is balance and still there is focus without overwhelming yourself. Time to journal and plan. Okay, let me just quickly show you what I mean. So basically, I wrote down the 333 method. This is for November, December 2024 and January 2025. So this is a template. You can screenshot that and do that yourself if you feel connected to this method. But you write your first goal and then what is the habit one, habit two, habit three. And then the next step would be just to add this I'll do in November, this I do in December and this in January, depending on when you start. Second goal, again, the three habits. Third goal, the three habits. I'm done with the planning and this took me literally I think five minutes I would journal my vision and realize what my goals truly are like that is what probably takes the longest and then this literally took me I think two minutes to write down so I decided on three goals that I want to achieve by January 2025 or by the end of January 2025 and for each I decided three habits. Now what I will do is make a list called November, December and January. So I'm going to summarize the habits I will be doing in November and I'm going to add these habits also to December and add the new ones and the same that was January, add the habits from November, December to January list and then add on top the January ones. Builds it so much easier and after three months you've got it really locked in and locked down instead of saying in the first month I'm gonna do 10k steps every day, go hiking once a week and go to the gym twice a week. That probably is going to be very overwhelming. The smallest changes will have the most difference afterwards. And that kind of concludes the video today. I hope this inspired you to plan already now and to start taking action towards your goals now and not just do a new year's resolutions in January because that way you're already ahead on time and you create such a soft girl winter supporting yourself, supporting your dreams, supporting your goals without overwhelming yourself and feeling like you have to crunch it all out in a month in January and setting yourself up for success instead of setting yourself up for failure and disappointment. And I hope you love this video. I send you so much love and light and I see you next week because one of my goals is to post every Sunday from now on. Bye.